Welcome to the next episode of my RANS S21 build. In this episode, we put the fuselage on the landing gear. This is a momentous task. This is when it really starts to look like something. I've been excited to get to this moment since I started the kit, and today we're gonna to make that happen. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my engine hoist over. I'm gonna wheel it down here, and I'm going to pick up the front of the plane right here. I'll wrap a strap around it here, and I'll, I'll pick it there and then I'll swing it over here and then I'll be able to roll it back a little bit, bring it out here. And that's where I'll work on getting the, um, the landing gear legs uh, installed, get the wheels, axles and wheels on. By the end of the day tomorrow, I'm gonna have this thing on its wheels. Well, I was gonna show putting the tail wheel on, but then I ran into a problem and I just kind of worked through something temporarily to get at least get a wheel on here. So I'm trying to get the landing gear on today. So I've got my front of my tail spring there. I've got this mount here. It would normally sit there, but there's about a one inch gap here. And that's with the spring tangent to the surface here. And if I if I force this to contact this so I can bolt it down, there's no way. Like that that angle, it's wanting to, to bring this skin down about, I don't know, five to five to ten degrees. And it's totally bending this. That's where it needs to sit, but we've got this gap here. Do I have the wrong spring? Is this a spring for a different RANS aircraft? Or am I doing something wrong? It's definitely not gonna work on this. So what I did temporarily, just so I could get this thing on the wheels today, is I just threw some plastic spacers in there so that when I do put weight on this, it's not gonna wanna rotate this up and bend this part of the skin right here. So, and that being the case, I didn't really show any of the process putting the tail wheel on because I was just frustrated with what I ran into and I just wanted to get this thing working. So, um, but there's not a whole lot going on here. You just bolted onto the spring. <laughs> so you didn't miss much. So I got to get with Rans. I already posted a, a thing up on the Facebook group. I got to get with the Rans and see what's going on with this because this is definitely not right. I wanted to stop here and provide an update. It was a couple weeks since this portion was recorded. And I wanted to talk about the response I got from Rans. I did put a message out to him. It took a couple of weeks to get a response, but I finally did get an official response on this issue. It wasn't the response I was hoping for. I was really thinking I got maybe an incorrect spring because I just couldn't see how they would send the kit with that particular spring. Uh, but the response I got was, that's how it is. That's the spring we use. You have the right spring. Uh, we do have a taller bracket in the back to space off the um, part of the spring that curves down to space it off from the bottom of the fuselage. He said it would send one out, no charge. I declined. I, I don't like that idea because what that's doing is it's picking up the tail of the airplane, which is effectively reducing my deck angle. And um, any little amount makes a big difference on your takeoff and landing performance, primarily takeoff. So I'm going to forego that change in, in dropping the spring down. And I've decided I'm just going to have a custom leaf spring made. I've got a suspension shop here in town. I can send them a template and they'll bend me up a custom spring. That's the route I'm going to go. I just wanted to provide that update here and now. Work on the landing gear now. Uh, get my landing gear out, the legs, got my wheels and tires out. You might recall from a previous video, I'm running the Behringer wheels and brakes and axles. The way they mount up is the same. You know, it's the same for all intents and purposes. The axle is effectively the same. So I'll go ahead and uh, get those bolted up here to the legs. I got this one kind of loosely assembled just to kind of see how everything fit. Uh, AN fives at the top, AN sixes at the bottom. I will say one thing about them though, they, the hardware that they sent is too short. Uh, they sent me AN522, it needs to be a 23. If I use their washer, which makes sense to do, I just barely flush out the threads on the nut here. 
So this should be an AN523. I don't know about the six yet. I'll have to see. It's likely that that's too short as well. I'll use them for now, and then I'll just get longer bolts and swap those out. I got the legs prepared here, got the Behringer calipers bolted up and axles. I gotta make sure that I put the hoses, the brake hoses in here first, because I've seen a couple builders um, put their legs on and then later went to put these in and, and you couldn't because the strap, or the clamp that comes around here, grabs it and you can't fit your brake line in. So I'll go ahead and fit those in now. Got my landing gear legs, all ready here, get the calipers assembled on there. Um, I'm gonna fit the brake lines right now. I've seen a couple other YouTubers, they put their landing gear leg on and didn't have the brake line in, and then they had to take the landing gear off because of the way the attachment hardware goes here. You can't fit your brake line in there, so I'm glad I, I saw their videos. I'm gonna put this in here now. Um, I, I'm gonna probably change this out to a 45. Since I'm running the Behringer's, you know, they, they have their own fitting. It's kind of a different, it's not a pipe thread here. So I can't use the supplied 45 from brands, I don't think. Uh, I'm gonna have to get with Behringer and see if I can get a 45 here. Cause that would be a little bit cleaner and I could get it into the groove a little sooner. But for now, um, I'll just go ahead and put these in there, run it this way. And uh, I'll get going on the other one. And then I'm, then I'm getting closer to putting this thing on. What I'll do now is start getting this prepared to pick it up with my hoist. I'll rig it up here. I'm gonna catch this tube here. This isn't heavy, so I can grab it anywhere. I think this will be a stable point that'll kind of, what I don't wanna do is have my rigging slide off to the side. And if I grab it here, it'll stay there. So pick it up, swing it over. May have to push it back a little bit, give me some room. started hoisting it and I didn't like the I didn't like how it was pivoting on the stand so I raised it up a little bit to give me a little clearance here just went ahead and set it down on the wheel I like that better the only reason I'm doing it this way is because I'm by myself I don't have any help right now so uh, I just want to get this done and this will be the way to do it I've got it up on these stands here Got the tail lifted up on a stand. I've stretched an extrusion across here. I've padded it with some rags. And I've got it sitting here. Of course, it's still kind of being held by my hoist just as a safety. But I was fighting with trying to get this landing gear in here, this leg, and what I figured out was it's actually easier to install this stack up here. Your plate here against the fuselage bottom, your bushings or your spacers, the clamping plate at the bottom. Of course, it's got the plastic rub strip as well. Do this stack up first is what I found easier. Otherwise, they're trying to hold the landing in there, landing gear in there, and you're trying to get these lined up, and it's just, <laughs> I was fighting it. So I still need to drive this bolt up a little bit. It's tight. I'm just gonna give it a little tap. But that's kind of what I'm finding is easiest. And then what I'll do is I'll slide the gear leg in, and I'll come in here and put the washers and the bolt and everything in there. And I think that that's gonna be 
the easiest way to do this. All right, there we go, I got it. I'm just using plain nuts for now, because um, I don't know, I'm gonna maybe have to take the landing gear off. Well, I am gonna have to for paint and whatnot, uh, or other things. So I'm just using plain nuts now. Yes, I did use an impact driver. I'm not, I just did that to draw everything up. I will use a torque wrench and do it the right way when it's finally getting done. But that was so much easier. I was trying to hold the landing gear and do the clamp. Like I said, it's just, sometimes you just gotta sit back and rethink what you're doing. So there we go. Already got the other side done. This one's done. Put the wheels on, be able to get it on its legs. And there it is, it's on the wheels.